what's up guys welcome back to the channel so today yes today i have three different joker outfits for you guys now some of you guys may have seen one or the other um but i put three of them together that i thought was super super dope um and i thought you guys may enjoy them um so the first one is the uh from the dark knight the heath ledger's version um then the next one is from the dark knight as well which will be the heist joker um and then the last one will be the joker from uh batman origins so these are very very nice outfits um i've been been on this superhero type um creating superheroes in grand theft auto online here for the last few weeks um so guys sit back and enjoy all right guys so first off we're going to be starting out with the heath ledger's version um so you're going to go over to the hair store or the haircut place or whatever you want to call it um and you're going to be selecting um the hair color number 40 if i'm not mistaken um and then you're going to be selecting the um the long hair and then with the face paint you're going to be selecting the sorrow demon and you're going to be selecting um, the smudge lipstick and you're going to make it red. So that's for the top half of them, his head. Um, and then right here, we're going to go into the clothing store and you're going to be selecting the suit pants. And with the suit pants, we're going to go with the purple regular pants. Um, now, this is the more um, this is the joker that you're going to see the most. Um, I kind of tried to make him a little bit different as well. Um, you know, I didn't want to make him because I've created him before. And so I went with the um, this time I went with the purple jacket under suit jackets. Um, I thought about doing the long purple suit jacket, but I couldn't get the right shirt underneath it. I want to put a put a uh, green shirt underneath it. So with the shirts, you're just going to go into shirts. And then you're going to just stroll up and you're going to be looking for the untucked moss green shirt. OK, I really, really like this one because the button is undone. He's not a buttoned up and dressed to the nine type of character. Um, He's just real rugged around the edges. So I really like the, the slouchy look of this this Joker. Uh, and then with the shoes, we're just going to go with the black harness boots. Um, I didn't want to make them real dirty. Um, and actually, this is one of my this is one of my favorite outfits I've ever actually created. Um, so as you see right here, the outfit is pretty much done. Um, no glitching going on. Just a regular Joker character, Heath Ledger. If you guys love um, the black, the Batman Dark Knight, um, you will like this version of the Joker. This is Heath Ledger's version of Joker. All right, now moving on, we're going to be creating the Joker from Batman Origins. All right, so this one here, you're going to be selecting the hairstyle um, that's it's really really resembles the one. It's the uh, it's the um, the shooter cut, and you're going to be selecting number forty. And you're going to be selecting number 40 because it's going to match the um, the sweater, the vest he has on. Um, so I didn't want to make this one a real loud, loud, bright green. Um, this version of the Joker, I hadn't seen nobody create this version of the Joker. Um, this is him. That's more. He has more of a slim look. Um I really, really like this version because I hadn't seen anybody really create this version. So you're going to go to fitted suit pants and you're going to be selecting the regular Navy suit pants. Um, and it's a reason why we select the regular version. I didn't want to do the skinny suit pants or the finished fitted suit pants. I'm sorry. Um, so with the tops, you're going to go in the tops. And then you're going to be going to the Navy sharp fitted open. So now make sure it's going to be it's going to be an open uh, top. We don't want to button them up too too buttoned up because 
it, it just doesn't look as good and it doesn't match the character. So then you're going to go into the vest. And then when you go into the vest, you're going to scroll down. And it's actually going to be in suit vest. Yeah, you're going to go into suit vest and you're going to be selecting the teal fitted suit vest. So it's a teal green. So that's the reason why I went with the darker hair on this version of Joker. Um, the first Joker, the Dark Knight Joker, is a little bit more flamboyant. That's why we went with the super green, almost neon type green hair. And then with the shoes, this is the reason why we selected the regular, um, the regular um, pants is because you can put the spats on them. All right. Now, for you guys who really, really know, the original Joker used to wear spats. And I thought, what better way to customize this Joker and put on the spats? All right. So we're going to go over to the accessories. And then the accessories, we're just going to be selecting the black leather gloves. And this is a very, very good looking Joker. I mean, this is the more animated cartoonist version looking Joker. Um, you can actually slap on a lime green bow tie as well. Um, so that is the Joker from the Batman Origins. This is a very, very easy outfit to put together. I really, really like this outfit. Um, actually, it's one of my favorite outfits. And then... Let me go outside and I'll show you the weapon of choice. If you do the heavy revolver, um, this is actually the gun that he used in the uh, Batman Origins. Um, so I thought this was a quick note that I put in there. Um, it looks very, very official. OK, so that is the Joker from Batman Origins. All right. So last but not least, we have the heist Joker. Now, this is one of this is one of my um, most creative versions of the Joker, because you never see anybody create this version of Joker. And it's just a very simple outfit um, with the pants. We just went with baggy black pants or the black baggy pants. And you're going to make him look as run down and rugged as possible. Um, so you're going to use all these big clothes. And then with the suit jacket, you could have went. I at first I was going to go with the one with the rolled up sleeves, um, but we're just going to go with the, the black scruffy jacket. Um, you can actually go with the one with the rolled up sleeves, but they won't give you um, they won't give you more options with the undershirts. Um, and this one here with the undershirt, you're just going to go to shirts. And then his shirt is not quite spot on. Um, it's like a blue polka dot almost shirt that he has in the actual movie. Um, but I went with this one because this one closely, closely resembles him, um, in the movie, which is the, um, Azure Untucked. I guess that's how you pronounce it. <laughs> All right. Then we're going to go over the shoes and we're going to be selecting the worn black laced up boots with this one. Now, this is the, this is the, um, this is the Joker that looks really, really rough and really, really dirty. Um, and if you guys have watched the movie, um, The Dark Knight, it's hey, this is this is really spot on. And then you're going to go with the ties. You're just going to go with the charcoal slack tie, the one that's like unloosened around his neck. I think this brings a lot, a lot of character to this character. Um, so if you guys seeing him walking around Los Santos, you would know exactly who he is. And then you're going to go with the black leather gloves. And I didn't do too much with the face or the head. I just changed the color of the hair back to like a dark brown. And I just did the slick back brown hair. And then I just threw this mask on him, which would be the clown plastic face. And you can use this, actually use this mask for several different things. I thought about making some Payday characters um, for you guys that uh, know who the Payday uh, movie is or what the Payday movie is. Um, this is actually like the spot on mask for those characters. So anyways, and then to top it all off, the weapon of choice for this 
Joker. It's going to be the shotgun. All right. So the sawed off shotgun spot on. All right, guys. So with that being said, I'm going to get up out of here. I'm out. Peace.